Are you struggling to find information on where to go, what to do, and call home in France? Luckily, France is incredibly diverse with numerous touristy places with a variety of fun cultural activities. There are countless reasons to enjoy, appreciate, and appreciate France. From the charming yet quaint villages to the historic cities, artsy lifestyles, and sumptuous cuisine that captures your attention for days. France offers an ideal location for a romantic vacation, boasting beautiful, centuries-old castles and fascinating villages. Pairs or individual travelers looking to escape modern life can find peace and tranquility in the country's many impressive churches. Watch the video until the end to see the fun and cultural activities in France. Learn to cook classic French cuisine in Burgundy. Going to France, not exploring the French kitchen will surely be on your bucket list. Learning about their cuisine is certainly worth adding to your list of things to do. While France is known for its rich culinary tradition, Burgundy is among the most distinctive areas of French cuisine. Gastronomic meals in this region are particularly famous and are offered in various styles, including the renowned escargot or gougers. You can choose from multiple culinary programs to learn how to cook like a pro and attend local markets for supplies to savor delicious meals from the region. You can spend your time in the different areas all over France and guarantee an authentic personal experience. Montignac, last cox from two. In 1940, four boys went into a forest to rescue their dog from a cave. Stranded alone in the darkness, they soon made a fantastic discovery. A discovery in France proved to be a group of Paleolithic caves, along with well-preserved artworks in the form of engravings and paintings of animals. Researchers believe it to be just shy of 17,000 years old, talking more about the beginnings of European art and presenting information on Homo erectus. Although there are currently only replicas available, Lascox II was created in 1980. St. Emilian trip with wine tasting and winery visit from Bordeaux. The village of St. Emilian, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of Bordeaux's most famous wine appellations. On this tour, you will taste Grand Cru classified wines in a shadow in the area. Explore the historic village on a guided walking tour. Enjoy free time for shopping and sightseeing. One bus leaves from Bordeaux City to visit Les Eglantines, a classed wine shadow in the St. Emilian wine region. There you stop by the vineyard and enjoy a wine tasting. The tour of the Grand Cru classified winery includes explanations of how different soil types affect grape production and the use of additives such as terroir. This idea is an excellent opportunity to sample a selection of wines during a guided tasting. Visit Arines de Nîmes. The only Roman amphitheater to have been preserved with such accuracy is to be found in Nîmes and has witnessed everything from musical concerts and theater reenactments to bullfights. This important venue is surrounded by history, as well as the Principality of Orange and Pont du Gard. With an oval arena surrounded by two tiers of arches and columns, the amphitheater reminds you of how skilled Roman architects were. The amphitheater's design meant that everyone got a perfect view, no matter where they were seated in the seats. The guided or audio-guided tour of the arena takes you back to a day of entertainment in Roman times telling you about its history from its construction to today. The Gladiator Quarter presents gladiators weapons and combat techniques. Rousselin Pont du Gard. Another ancient place you cannot miss is Pont du Gard. Over 2,000 years ago, Pont du Gard was constructed as a fantastic compilation of stones weighing as much as six tons. The structure makes up a sizable part of an aqueduct that carries water from the Garden River Valley to Nemesis in Nîmes. It took five years to build and is almost 31 miles long. Nevertheless, the once decayed structure is now an exceptional feature of France, with countless people traveling over to see the ruins. There are plenty of activities in the area. Anyone wishing to explore the ancient Roman legacy is worth visiting. Rhymes and its magnificent Gothic cathedral. How can you just miss the opportunity to step in here? Built in the 13th century, in the era of high Gothic architecture, Notre Dame Cathedral is a marvel, with its dazzling exterior, with flying buttress and angels precisely sculpted into it, and the interior with a solemn atmosphere of spirituality. This cathedral holds to its original heart. Despite not taking first place in sculpting and ornamentation like the cathedral in Chartres, the Cathedral Notre Dame de Rheims displays a beautiful array of architectural artwork and royal history. Here you will witness the synthesis of Gothic elements in harmony and unremarkable balance. 
This contrast between classicism and realism is subtle and not readily noticeable, but the overall grandness of it is powerful nevertheless. The grand architecture of this cathedral will be remembered for generations to come. Explore the Royal Versailles Palace. Moving to Versailles, Louis Rhone XIV made a wise choice. He made some magnificent masterpieces such as the Hall of Mirrors, royal apartments, the glittering and filleted throughout the rooms in his bedroom, the works on furniture created during his reign. With its unparalleled splendor, the Palace of Versailles is one of Paris's most popular tourist destinations. On top of the meticulous lawns and quintessential landscaping, it is an important tourist destination in France. The French gardens are a world of fairy tales, functioning as an absolute monarchy, symbolized by the blue royal fleur de lis. It remains a striking representation of French history and culture, with each telling detail from the opulent and extravagant lives embodied by the former monarchs. Attend the royal serenade at the Château de Versailles. This is for you if you want to try a move with the local traditional beats. The royal serenade includes period costumes and music from the Baroque, dancing elaborately and entertainingly. It also consists of an event where the king dresses up just like he was in the old days and hosts a court ball. The Folies Françoises Company, with their musical ensemble, and the Compagnie de Dance Elevental Dancing Troupe are there to cheer audiences on. On Saturdays during the summer, the Shadow de Versailles exposes you to a concert of water-based fountains that dance to the tune of Baroque music. You can also enjoy admittance into the gardens before or after the show. Walk into Centre George Pompidou. Pompidou Centre is a rather unusual construction because of its two architecture, made from high-tech materials, such as cables and boxes. The construction was completed in 1977. The Center George Pompidou provides a public library and the Musée National Dart Modern and serves as an acoustic and musical research facility known as ERCAM. The center's primary function is to offer visitors a space to feel liberated in the heart of France's art and culture scene. Bike around Bordeaux, the Bordeaux region of France boasts some of the most beautiful scenery like vine-covered hills and grand castles and quaint historic villages. The area also has a lot to offer cyclists with self-guided route plans or a cycling tour company offering an itinerary. You will enjoy traveling by bike on Route 50, which is a 40-kilometer bike ride from Bordeaux to saint Emilion in France. The picturesque medieval village is an UNESCO World Heritage Site with many attractions. One of those attractions, Bordeaux, located in France, has more than 300 UNESCO-listed historical monuments. The Shado is a 45-kilometer ride from Bordeaux. A medieval fortified castle dates back to the 13th century and has been refreshed as time marched on. The castle is open to the public for visits, including access to the tower, which affords privileged views of the surrounding countryside. They have shorter routes that you can take from Bordeaux to Pessac, which offers Le Corbusier architecture, one of 29 kilometers from Bordeaux to Margox. These routes are known for their gastronomy. Make a pilgrimage to Mont Saint Michel, soaring above the rocky coastline. The Abbe du Mont Saint Michel is known as the Pyramid of the Seas. It is so awe inspiring and otherworldly that it appears to be a vision from heaven. This Gothic abbey on the island of Mont Saint Michel has been a seething spiritual destination since the 11th century. Today's pilgrims can follow in the footsteps of medieval pilgrims for a meaningful spiritual experience. Pilgrims walk across its sandbanks to reach the monasteries in one of the last stops along their arduous journey to Santiago de Compostela an essential Christian destination. The Fraternités Monastiques de Jerusalem provides religious services three times per day in the community chapel. The liturgy is conducted in chants, which have a harmonious polyphonic melody. Traditionally, the journey takes about two hours and must be completed with assistance from an accredited local guide. Watch the sunset from the Eiffel Tower. You are in Paris and don't see the breathtaking, mesmerizing sunset from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Oh Lord, your trip will be complete. To view Paris at its most romantic, you must visit the Eiffel Tower during sunset. The soft lighting gives the stunning effect of seeing Paris through a camera lens. This is an excellent time to go for a walk or to watch the city from above. In mid-afternoon, golden crepuscular rays light up the horizon, lending an extra charm to landscapes that visitors can see while they look out over Paris in awe and wonder. From the top of the Eiffel Tower, Paris's monuments are illuminated and beautiful in a golden sunset. 
They sparkle on special occasions, like every hour for five minutes, with the historic, contemporary-style restaurants on the first and second levels of the Eiffel Tower. You can enjoy unique views of the City of Light while dining. Visitors can soak up culture and luxury while enjoying a mouth-watering meal at those go-to spots. The view captures the whole Parisian scene as the sun goes down, including its monuments, lit up by the city, same river reflections of glittering sunset lights on the Eiffel Tower. Every night, there are five minutes of fireworks that look great. French people don't hate tourists. At the same time, you should be aware of cultural differences to avoid misunderstandings. What might seem rude may actually be something artistic different from you. Let us know in the comments section what you will choose from these activities.